I was looking through sports nutrition articles for new research and came across a study which seemed to suggest that cyclists are massively underfueling themselves when it comes to indoor biking. By doing so, they were making it harder to perform during their training and their races and they were ruining their recovery. But by the end of this video, you'll know how to stop this and how to fuel your cycling properly. Now, the results of this study surprised me because in theory, indoor training and racing should be the easiest of all to fuel because, well, you're in your own house and you have easy access to food. But whether it's knowledge, laziness, or some other mysterious cause, cyclists aren't doing it properly. Now it all starts with what to eat before your cycling and incredibly 73% of cyclists didn't hit the guidance for carb intake before their sessions. And if you don't know this already by the way, carbohydrates are the golden key absolutely crucial to unlocking that treasure chest of Zwift performance. In the four hours before your sessions, you should aim to consume between one to four grams of carbs per kilogram of body weight. And that number depends on how much you're training, how hard your session is, and how much time you've got before you train. These are the amounts of carbohydrates in common foods, so you can get an idea of how you could reach the minimum of that magic one gram of carbs per kilogram number. You don't have to go for sports products here, and actually, if you have time, then whole food is the best option. Now, this is step one one to Zwift in greatness and whilst the next step is important too, whatever you do, do not miss this step. If you have nailed your food before your cycling, then you're ready to move on to your nutrition during it. This is so important because it has the power to significantly improve your performance, but surprisingly 74% of cyclists reported not consuming any carbohydrates during cycling. By the way, water, caffeine sources, and electrolyte tablets do not count as fuel during cycling. If your Zwift race lasts up to an hour, then your best bet is to have a carbohydrate mouth rinse. Under an hour, any carbs you eat or drink won't really be available to help with performance, but by the simple act of swilling a carbohydrate drink around your mouth before you swallow it, it can improve your performance. It helps to stimulate your brain and you feel more awake and you reduce the sensation of fatigue. Most sports drinks should fit the bill here, including homemade sports drinks, if it contains at least 30 grams of carbs in 500 milliliters of fluid. Now, if your ride is over 60 minutes, then you'll benefit from a minimum of 30 grams of carbs an hour, up to about 90 grams of carbs an hour. The more you train, the harder your session, and the longer your overall session, the more carbs you should aim to consume. This will help to make sure that your muscles stay fueled and full of carbohydrates and keep you on the path to Zwift in glory. If you've managed these two steps, then you're almost ready to graduate the Zwifting Nutrition Academy. But first, you've got to conquer the post-ride nutrition and 49% of cyclists didn't meet the guidance for this. If you put in all that hard work to fail at this hurdle, then you aren't going to recover properly, which means you won't actually get the benefits and improve from your hard Zwifting and you'll probably feel crap. You want to consume between 1 to 1.2 grams of carbs per kilogram of body weight in the first hour after your session and at least 20 grams of protein. If you know it's going to be a while before you eat properly, then have a snack to help you recover. And if you know that you're going to be racing again or doing high intensity training soon after, then consuming that same amount of carbs every hour for the first four hours after your session is the best way to do this. Now, you might be thinking, this is a lot of carbs. Do I really need to do this? The answer, as with most things, is that it depends. If you're just training occasionally, not really much intensity, and don't really care that much, then you don't need to be quite as militant. But if you're taking your Zwifting seriously, then these are the things that are going to help you be at the top of your game and actually get better too. It's such a common thing for cyclists or triathletes to not fuel properly, and I'm making it my mission to stop this. If you want to know why underfueling during your sessions can be so disastrous, then you should watch this video here.